Welcome, welcome my fellow familiars. Today we'll continue looking at our only basic land forest Eldrazi deck. Uh, it's been suggested by Dominic Vusa and I gotta say, so far I'm loving this deck, especially you've seen from level 1. Level 0, I mean from the uh, episode 1, ah oh, jeez. We're up against a complete newbie, but what can I do? Let's keep this hand. Uh, okay, let's just play the forest into the blister pod. Opponent is Clavreed Master, level 0 guy, so he's just started magic here. I don't think it's possible to drop to level 0 as soon as you get your first victory. I do apologize if I, I'm playing this game guys, but the uh, problem here is that I've been disconnected from a few games already, so I just want to continue with this. Uh, let's play the blister pod. And let's swing. Yeah, I don't know what's happened, but uh, I've been playing a few games and it seems like uh, I got disconnected. I was going to win those games, but hey, when you disconnect, you lose. What can I do? Okay, and also guys, I sorry for the previous episode where I was a little bit drunk. You know, it was Valentine's. I drank a little bit. Decided to release an episode for you guys, so... Yeah, I do apologize if you didn't enjoy it. However, if you did enjoy it, do let me know. So next time when I'm... Or I can get drunk on purpose. Not that I'm going to be an alcoholic, but still I would drink. And uh, I'll make another episode for you guys. I do drink wine every once in a while, just because... Not to say that it's good for health or anything, but you know. I think there are benefits. So, going to use Titanic Growth here. So, let's swing. Confirm. Let's wait till our opponent blocks. There we go. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Hopefully, we draw into the land so we can play Alice Watcher next turn. And that would mean we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana at that point. And then all we'll have to do is just w get one more mana so we can get to Eldrassi Devastator. Hey, I'm not gonna complain, Wild's Eyes is good. So let's swing. It lets us draw a card, so... Okay. Just for the dra card draw it was worth it. The opponent takes damage, we get a forest out. And we move on. Okay, let's see what the opponent chooses to do now. So next turn definitely can play Alice Watcher here. So far opponent hasn't done anything except just play a bunch of lands. So Reclamation Sage. Can he kill this? No, never mind, he can't. It's only against artifacts and uh, enhancements and I guess this is not considered an artifact. I'm gonna play Nisa here. Get a basic land out. Which is very good. Yep. Yep. Let's play the land. And let's swing. If our opponent does kill one of these, I'm more than happy to go with that. Okay, there we go. So he's going to exchange. That's good. We're going to get a Skion out of this. Just extra mana for us. So now, I'll play Alice Watcher. Try to sacrifice this blister pot too, and then we'll have enough mana for uh, Devastator. And that's when things will be fun, and we'll win. I know this is a boring game, guys. I do apologize for this. Uh, but hey, it's a game. Okay, opponent does nothing. If you want to, guys, just skip to game two. I do apologize for this. Okay, so let's play Alice Watcher. Two Desolation Twins, that's quite nice. There we go, and we swing. Hey, I like this. I like this guy. There we go. Now next turn I can play Devastator right away. Okay then. Well, the opponent has played into our hand here, which is good. Let's see, 10, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, only 7 damage. 
So a 0 6 de defender is not going to save the opponent here, I'll be honest. Nimbus swing, so now it can deal with stuff as if. Wow, 8 health. Ha! <laughs> If he puts another enhancement on this, then he'll be able to actually deal with the Devastator and block it. But Desolation Twin. Now that's something our opponent cannot handle. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Not gonna attack. Just let's move on. And let's see what the opponent does now. He's kind of lucky I didn't throw into Ulamog, because that would have destroyed him completely. Well, opponent leaves. There is the skip, there is the skip. Okay, archers aren't gonna help him. <coughs> okay. So, another forest. Nisa comes out. There we go. Going to use this. Hopefully draw into one more land. Oh, excellent. So now we can play Devastator. Okay, and now let's swing. Oops, sorry. Swing, confirm. Opponent will have to double block, still taking one point of damage. Yep. That's it. So yeah, guys. We won this game. It's a very mild game against an opponent who just recently started playing magic so not really uh, super amazing anything but you know it's a game it's a victory got to show off a deck a little bit there we go double grasp of here and answer no idea why but it's okay another forest okay so we swing we win Let's just play over for now. Yep. Yes. We've got more lands. We're gonna play this also. We got the Acid Moss. There we go. Okay, so now we swing and we win. Well, guys. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this has been game number one, guys. I will see you in game number two. And we're back for game number two. If I had to guess, I think this deck is a uh, black-blue control deck, most likely. Yeah, I think that makes sense, so should be a fun game here. Maybe he'll have a Batwing or something like that. Okay, McKiffy, level 8. Okay. Hey. This is similar to game number one, so let's go with this. The only difference is we've got Retreat to Kazandu here, which is good. So, going to do Blister Pod, Blister Pod, hopefully get to Alice Watcher as soon as possible. Draw into some more lands and pump out Desolation Twin as soon as possible. We shall see. Okay, also, what is the art for Blister Pod here? It's a weird, weird creature, gotta say. Looks like a shrimp of sorts. By the way guys, I did used to have a pet shrimp. You'll be amazed. Oh yeah, our opponent by the way is right. So yeah, you'd be amazed guys, but uh, shrimps are capable of recognizing human faces. So whenever my shrimp would see me, he'd actually quickly run up to me. Well, whenever I stuck my head in an aquarium and start cooning under my fingernails, which felt amazing. And uh, whenever any other human approached, even approached the aquarium, didn't even stuck their hand into the aquarium. He would instantly hide behind the rocks and uh, not be seen. And by the way, it was a saltwater aquarium, the uh, uh, seven gallon saltwater aquarium. It had nothing except a bunch of hermit crabs and uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, shrimp. It, I think it's called clown shrimp or something. I forgot the name, it's been a while. Okay, let's play the forest. Let's play the retreat. Hopefully we join to land here, hopefully. If we do, I'm going to be most likely uh, gaining two life instead of putting any counters, since I don't see much of a point in doing so. Of course, unless if our opponent plays some kind of a two health creature, then I would do that. 
But let's hope we do draw into land, hopefully. Okay, there is the defender. So who knows, maybe a token wouldn't be so, I mean putting a counter wouldn't be so bad. So far our opponent hasn't explained really what he's doing yet, but we'll see. There is the evolving wilds, is he gonna get another mountain? Wow, okay, so he does. Very interesting deck, okay. Oh, excellent, we drew into a forest. So, I'm gonna put a counter here, just to get rid of this. There we go, let's continue and swing. Okay. Wow, okay, so our opponent chooses to take two damage. That's fine, let's play the Eyeless Watcher. So now we have four, five, six. Need two more mana, and then we can do Breaker of Armies. That's where things will get really fun. Hmm, the image for Breaker of Armies is pretty good too, gotta say. Okay, so our opponent plays from beyond. He knows he's in trouble now. Okay, hopefully it's a land. Excellent. Okay. Let's put another counter on Eyeless Watcher. There we go. And let's swing with all. Would have been nice if we get into from beyond. But hey, if we actually... Okay. If we actually do end up drawing into a land, then Breaker of Armies comes out. That's where things are gonna be great. Okay, so there's the Skion. So our opponent's currently at 5 life. Wonder what he'll play. He might play while aggregate here, which actually would be nice. Okay, Elvish Visionary. Nothing to write home to, but you know, a decent card. Cinder Glade. So while aggregate? Nope. Okay then. Now let's try to get one of our Never mind, no need to even get our blister pots that uh let's put a counter. Uh yeah, I guess here makes the most sense. We can play Breaker of Armies, but I will wait until I for a little bit longer until I disappoint my opponent fully, so swing, swing and swing. Let's see what the opponent chooses to do. I think if he kills one of the blister ports here. I can play uh, Desolation Twin instead of Breaker of Armies. Wait, is he gonna double block? Yes! That is very nice. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's just do this. Okay, so we've got 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we get one of our blister pots dead, we can play Desolation Twin instead of Breaker of Armies. But then Breaker of Armies isn't bad either. You know what, let's just play Breaker of Armies, guys. That's fine. No, no, what is this? Oh, okay, that's nothing bad. Well, our opponent's dead too. He was level 8, but uh, nothing could stand up against uh, such a destructive force. Okay. Wow, he is going to kill very nicely played. Very, very nicely played. Okay, then. Should have waited for Desolation to win, seriously. <sighs> okay, well, we can do another Alice Watcher here. So now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is gonna be 9. So let's swing and swing. Let's see. Will opponent choose to block this? Wow sucks kinda wish he'd block blister pot but it's okay okay then another skin comes out hey we got lethal next turn guys so unless if our opponent plays a creature which he will then we don't have a lethal let's see okay so let me see now here yeah we've got five six seven eight mana this could be ninth mana 
and then we need 10th mana so oblivion sower oh no next turn we're gonna lose a bunch of land so hopefully we draw into some here or hopefully we draw into eyeless yeah jeez there we go and how much land does he get he got no land Oh, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. And we are the ones who drew into a land here. Oh, this day makes me so happy. Okay then, so let's play this. Let's just put a counter on our Eyeless Watcher. Or Blister Pod most likely. Yeah, let's do this. Now, let's swing with this. And swing with this. I don't know if I should swing with this. Heck, let's do this. See what our opponent chooses to block. Come on. Come on. I should have... Uh. No. No. You should have... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I just really need to draw into that one more land for Desolation Twin. Okay, our opponent leaves the game. That's good, I guess. So there is six, seven, eight, nine. We just need one more land. Just one more. Okay, there we go. So let's put a counter, blister pot. Just you make sure that this is the one that's really gonna get killed here All right, let's move on swing and swing and confirm and desolation twin comes out okay so opponent will be yes thank you there we go skion comes out desolation twin comes out there we go there we go Okay, so that's it guys. Our opponent's dead. This is game number two. If you guys got any suggestions, do let me know. So far from the... Exp okay, just kills one. So far from the experience, what I've seen guys is the decks that have been suggested by you guys are the decks which win all the time. So please, just... Uh, it, make, it would make me extremely happy if you guys let me know what you'd like to see. And I'll do my darnest to create the best deck I possibly can for you guys. Okay. So he plays Jace. This should be game over. Another land gets destroyed. Okay then. What the heck is this? Canopy Vista. I don't believe I've got this card. Huh. I really I think I have everything unlocked, but I don't think I've got this card. Pilgrim's Eye. Why did I even play this? I don't know. Okay, yes. Uh, let's get this. Let's put this. Let's just play this. Let's put a counter. And let's swing. That's it. This is game, guys. I don't think... Yeah, opponent doesn't have any cards. So, this has been game number two, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in game number three. And we're back for final game of this episode. So far, I gotta say, this deck is just destroying everyone. I don't think uh, it's that easy to lose with this deck. Okay, and if I had to guess, our opponent is going to be Spaceman Spiff. Um, black, red, mind control, maybe? Okay, hey, it's quite similar to our last deck. Let's keep this hand. Okay, so Spaceman Spiff, he's level 8, we are level 7. Okay, he's... Next up is a mountain gonna come out, I'm sure of this. So let's play Blister Pot here. We're gonna play Double Forest, hopefully we get into one more land so we can play Acid Moss. And then I will play Animist Awakening and follow that up with Oblivion Sower which I think is going to be enough mana to... well, never mind. Yeah, it's going to be Deathless Behemoth afterwards, so should be fun. Oh, this is good. This is really good. I would love to exchange with uh, Perilous Mer here. So let's play the forest. 
Let's continue. Let's swing. Hopefully our opponent chooses to do the exchange. I'd be more than happy to do that. That would mean then I wouldn't even have to play any Mr. Awakening. I can... Okay, I can do Acid Moss and then quickly jump into Oblivion Soar. And if that succeeds, I can get to Breaker of Armies quite easily. Okay. I see our opponent wants to get Liliana out, so... If he does, then why is it... Uh, I'm not gonna question anything. Okay, there we go. Hmm, Swell of Growth, not bad. Anyways, let's play the forest here. Let's uh, attack with Blister Pot and do the Acid Moss, maybe. I don't know if that's worth it, but hey, let's see. He has a what? Uh, forest for I mean Swamp Swamp Mountain. So I think I'll do that. Going to swing with Blister Pot here and kill his one and only mountain there. Okay, he lets it through. What the heck? Okay then. Well, geez, that kind of sucks. So there's another swamp. Opponent swings for three in our face. Yep. Okay, I really hope we join to land here. Really do. Okay, discard the card, so this is not even gonna, oh yeah, it's going to trigger, that's good, that's very good. Okay, and Liliana comes out, there we go, he's going to use Liliana's ability, isn't he? Ah, oh, damn you, well then, I'm just gonna use Swell of Growth here, I, yeah, I'm okay with Sacrificing that. There we go. Okay. First, let's do this. Get rid of the mountain. There we go. Okay, now. I have to choose what I'm going to sacrifice. Deathless Behemoth is a nice card. And has Vigilance. But then I said, oh, jeez. Am I gonna get you Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger here? I don't know. Uh, Animus Wake Awakening is good. Uh, okay. Let's... Ulamog Ceaseless Hunger, that's fine. That's fine, guys. Okay. Liliana is at 7. He's almost there to use Liliana's special, so... Gotta be real careful here. Bird 4. Hopefully it's a land, please. Damn you. Okay, let's do Animus Awakening. Maximum of 3. Please be lands. Bunch of lands. Oh, just one land. And a Desolation Twin. Okay, I'm going to be throwing away here Zendikar's Royal, most likely. Okay, we're taking 5 damage here. Ah, jeez, guys. Wasn't expecting such a rough game. But hey, who lost? So, gotta sacrifice a throwaway card. Uh, well, we're far from even breaker of armies here. Might as well throw this out. Okay, opponent swings for 5 damage, brings us down to 4. If, if we draw into a land here, can do Zendikar's Royal with the land, yes. So now we at least have a blocker going for us. Okay. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we can either play Deathless Behemoth or Oblivion Sower. Because we have Zendikar's Royal, I think Oblivion Sower would be a better choice. Okay. chose to do two damage to my face oh I mean two damage to this this is very smartly played guys okay then guys this has been the last game 
We've lost it fair and square. Our opponent was just much superior. Thank you very much for watching. And by the way, guys, look forward to the next episode. It is going to be awesome. I called it punch the face. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you guys so much for being the reason I even make these videos. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.